Hypermagnesemia is an electrolyte disturbance in which there is an abnormally low level of magnesium in the blood. Normal magnesium levels in humans fall between 1.5-2.5 mg per deciliter. Usually a serum level less than 0.7 mL is used as reference for hypermagnesemia. The prefix hypo means under. The root mans refers to magnesium. The suffix of the word, emia, means in the blood. Hypermagnesemia is not necessarily magnesium deficiency. Hypermagnesemia can be present without magnesium deficiency and vice versa. Note, however, that hypermagnesemia is usually indicative of a systemic magnesium deficit. Hypermagnesemia may result from a number of conditions including inadequate intake of magnesium, chronic diarrhea, malabsorption, alcoholism, chronic stress, and medications such as diuretics use among others. Signs and Symptoms Deficiency of magnesium causes weakness, muscle cramps, cardiac arrhythmia, increased irritability of the nervous system with tremors, athetosis, jerking, nystagmus and an extensor plantar reflex. In addition, there may be confusion, disorientation, hallucinations, depression, epileptic fits, hypertension, tachycardia and tetany. Causes, magnesium deficiency is not uncommon in hospitalized patients. Elevated levels of magnesium, however, are nearly always iatrogenic. 10 to 20 percent of all hospital patients and 60 a euro 65 percent of patients in the intensive care unit have hypermagnesemia. Hypermagnesemia is underdiagnosed, as testing for serum magnesium levels is not routine. Low levels of magnesium in blood may mean that there is not enough magnesium in the diet, the intestines are not absorbing enough magnesium, or the kidneys are excreting too much magnesium. Deficiencies may be due to the following conditions, drugs, alcoholism. Hypermagnesemia occurs in 30% of alcohol abusers and in 85% of delirium tremens in patients, due to malnutrition and chronic diarrhea. Alcohol stimulates renal excretion of magnesium, which is also increased because of alcoholic and diabetic tosidosis, hyperposphatemia and hyperaldosteronism resulting from liver disease. Also, hypermagnesemia is related to thiamine deficiency because magnesium is needed for transforming thiamine into thiamine pyrophosphate. Medications, loop and thiazide diuretic use, antibiotics block resorption in the loop of heme. 30% of patients using these antibiotics have hypermagnesemia. Long-term use of proton pump inhibitors such as omprazole. Other drugs. Digitalis, displaces magnesium into the cell. Digitalis causes an increased intracellular concentration of sodium, which in turn increases intracellular calcium by passively decreasing the action of the sodium-calcium exchanger and the sarcolemma. The increased intracellular calcium gives a positive inotropic effect. Adrenogex, displace magnesium into the cell, cisplatin, stimulates renal excretion, cyclosporin, stimulates renal excretion, mycophenolate move till. Metabolic abnormalities, insufficient selenium, vitamin D, sunlight exposure or vitamin B6, gastrointestinal causes. The distal tractus digestivus secretes high levels of magnesium. Therefore, secretory diarrhea can cause hypermagnesemia. Thus, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, Whipple's disease and celiac sprue can all cause hypermagnesemia. Guy Talman Barter syndromes, renal magnesium loss in Barter's syndrome, post-obstructive diuresis, diuretic phase of acute tubular necrosis and kidney transplant. Diabetes mellitus, 38% of diabetic outpatient clinic visits involve hypermagnesemia, probably through renal loss because of glycosuria or ctosiduria. Other, acute myocardial infarction, within the first 48 hours after a heart attack, 80% of patients have hypermagnesemia. This could be the result of an intracellular shift because of an increase in catecholamines. Male absorption, acute pancreatitis, Hydrogen fluoride poisoning, massive transfusion is a life-saving treatment of hemorrhagic shock, but can be associated with significant complications. Homeostasis, magnesium is abundant in nature. It can be found in green vegetables, 
chlorophyll, cocoa derivatives, nuts, wheat, seafood, and meat. It is absorbed primarily in the duodenum of the small intestine. The rectum and sigmoid colon can absorb magnesium. 40% of dietary magnesium is absorbed. Hypermagnesemia stimulates and hypermagnesemia inhibits this absorption. The body contains 21 a euro 28 a grams of magnesium. Of this, 53% is located in bone, 19% in non-muscular tissue, and 1% in extracellular fluid. For this reason, blood levels of magnesium are not an adequate means of establishing the total amount of available magnesium. In terms of serum magnesium, the majority is bound to chelators, including ATP, ADP, proteins and citrate. Roughly 33% is bound to proteins, and 5 a euro 10% is not bound. This free magnesium is essential in regulating intracellular magnesium. Normal plasma Mg is 1.7 a euro 2.3 a milligram per deciliter. The kidneys regulate the serum magnesium. About 2400 mg of magnesium passes through the kidneys daily, of which 5% is excreted through urine. The loop of Heen is the major site for magnesium homeostasis, and 60% is reabsorbed. Magnesium homeostasis comprises three systems, kidney, small intestine, and bone. In the acute phase of magnesium deficiency there is an increase in absorption in the distal small intestine and tubular absorption in the kidneys. When this condition persists, serum magnesium drops and is corrected with magnesium from bone tissue. The level of intracellular magnesium is controlled through the reservoir in bone tissue. Pathophysiology Magnesium is a cofactor in more than 300 enzyme regulated reactions, most importantly, reactions forming and using ATP. There is a direct effect on sodium, potassium, and calcium channels. Magnesium has several effects. Potassium, potassium channel efflux is inhibited by magnesium. Thus hypermagnesemia results in an increased efflux of potassium in kidney, resulting in a hypokalaemia. This condition is believed to occur secondary to the decreased normal physiologic magnesium inhibition of the ROMK channels in the apical tubular membrane. In this light, Hypermagnesemia is frequently the cause hypokalemic patients failing to respond to potassium supplementation. For example, patients with diabetic tosidosis should have their magnesium levels monitored to ensure that the serum loss of potassium, which is driven intracellularly by insulin administration, is not exacerbated by additional urinary losses. Calcium, release of calcium from the sarcoplasmic reticulum is inhibited by magnesium. Thus hypermagnesemia results in an increased intracellular calcium level. This inhibits the release of parathyroid hormone, which can result in hypoparathyroidism and hypercalcemia. Furthermore, it makes skeletal and muscle receptors less sensitive to parathyroid hormone. Through relaxation of bronchial smooth muscle it causes bronchodilation. The neurological effects are, reducing electrical excitation, blocking release of acetylcholine, blocking N-methyl-D-aspartate glutamate receptors, an excitatory neurotransmitter of the central nervous system. NAR-K and arrhythmia, magnesium is needed for the adequate function of the NAR plus slash K plus minus H base pumps in cardiac myocytes, the muscle cells of the heart. A lack of magnesium increases potassium loss, causing intracellular potassium loss to increase. This decrease in intracellular potassium results in a tachycardia. Anticoagulant and preeclampsia, magnesium has an indirect antithrombotic effect upon platelets and endothelial function. Magnesium increases prostaglandins, decreases thromboxin, and decreases angiotensin II, microvascular leakage and valsospasm through its function similar to calcium channel blockers. Convulsions are the result of cerebral valsospasm. The vasotilitatory effect of magnesium seems to be the major mechanism. Bronchodilation and asthma, magnesium exerts a bronchodilatatory effect, probably by antagonizing calcium-mediated bronchoconstriction. Diagnosis The diagnosis can be made by finding a plasma magnesium concentration of less than 0.7 mL. 
Since most magnesium is intracellular, a body deficit can be present with a normal plasma concentration. The ECG may show a tachycardia with a prolonged QT interval. Treatment Treatment of hypermagnesemia depends on the degree of deficiency and the clinical effects. Oral replacement is appropriate for patients with mild symptoms, while intravenous replacement is recommended for patients with severe clinical effects. Numerous oral magnesium preparations are available. Magnesium oxide, one of the most common because it has high magnesium content per weight, has been reported to be the least bioavailable. Magnesium citrate has been reported as more bioavailable than oxide or amino acid chelate forms. Intravenous magnesium sulfate can be given in response to cardiac arrhythmias, preeclampsia, and has been suggested as having a potential use in asthma. See also, magnesium in biology, magnesium deficiency, hypermagnesemia, hypermagnesemia with secondary hypercalcemia, references. Bibliography. External links, magnesium, webelements.com a euro magnesium, dietary reference intake, magnesium at lab tests online, magnesium, analyte monograph, the Association for Clinical Biochemistry and Laboratory Medicine.